Okay, so in this video, I'm going to take a look at uh, alpha data science, and we're looking at data transformation. And now we're down here to uh, group data with missing values. Okay, so uh, you may have wondered about the na.rm argument we used above. What happens if we uh, don't set it? Okay, so go back into um, our studio again. I'll just clear uh, the console and we look at um, that particular instance. Now, in the previous video, we had mapped out, we had done this g g plot and we had mapped out the relationship between the distance and delay and how delay can be ameliorated by a longer distance, we presume, because uh, the flight can compensate by going a little bit faster. Um, then we worked out uh, delays, so we got value for delays and filtered. And we asked the question, if we work out the mean, so filter, take the data set flights and then group by year month day so uh, daily data and then summarize the mean of the, the of the departure delay um, each day so we have 10 observations here with another 355 that's 365 if we don't include na.rm to be true uh, the issue then arises that we're including values uh, that are not available in the data set so um the uh, our studio will return um na as a result so if we take the same snippet of data again run one more time but include in n a dot rm equal to true in that instance then we'll get a set of values here uh, for each the average uh, daily delay and um, so for January 1st okay so um, then if we're saving the data uh, so not cancelled now we could presume that if we exclude uh, so if uh, both if we filter the data to exclude uh, where the departure delay is in a and the uh, arrival de delay uh, is an A that this is a cancelled flight. Now that's a maybe it's perhaps a heroic um, type assumption to make here, but we could save this as a not cancelled flight. So we have another set of flights here. Um, and if we run again, not cancelled, grouped by year, month, day, so daily. Um, but we've excluded, if you like, flights that have been cancelled, and then summarize, right, we get another set of data, so daily mean delay, but now that's a bit different, because initially here, the average delay was 11.5, uh, when we exclude cancel flights, then the average delay is 11.4. Okay, so um, again, it's kind of interesting that uh, we can do this type type of data transformation um, for the perspective of how we exam examine and treat the data and work with the data. I suppose the main uh, issues to address here are uh, na.rm, so that we uh, remove uh, not applicable or not available data and then secondly if we have NA data uh, how do we filter perhaps or how do we use is uh, dot NA again in this case where missing values represent cancer flights uh, we could also tackle the problem by first removing cancer flights and then we save the data set. As it turns out, the results we get here, the 11.4 differs from the 11.5. So we can see by excluding presumably 
cancel flights, we get a slight reduction in the average delay. Okay, so that's something that's uh, significant, right, and um, points to the importance of being able to work with uh, missing values and what might be done uh, with uh, missing values. NA.RM and then ISNA, right, ISNA, which we saw below here.